Pendulums suck. The soul out of your opponent because it's the best deck in the world. Let's go. My updated Pendulum deck profile. And you know what? Screw Orchids. This time, pure Pendulum. Let's go. Did you really think I would say Pendulums suck? They suck the soul out of your opponent because it's the best deck. You know what? Screw Orchids cards. You never needed them. They were just there for fun, okay? To give your opponent a little bit of a chance. But now we are playing pure Pendulum, which means there is no chance for the opponent to win. Today we face my friend Avery Foster. Let's go, baby. Pendulum is the best deck, man. I'm telling you guys. This build, we don't even open that good. We don't even open that good. It's just average or open average. But this is gonna be good luck, duelist. Let's go. It's gonna be a genocide, a genocide of epic proportions. A pendulum destroying Sky Circle Orcus. Win the die roll, lose the die roll. It don't matter. Twenty negates. Now with this hand, you could do a few different stuff. We are playing Sky Circles in here because I believe you must throw Sky Circles in every single pendulum deck. And if you don't, I know what you're doing. It's how you play going second, and it just adds so much to that going first. So, here we use Bashilis, the other people who just missed it, and Spellbook cards. Spellbook, Striker, and Demian is the real way to play Pendulum, okay? You cannot play it any other way. The Spellbooks and the uh, Striker cards add so much power and dimension to the Pendulum deck that it didn't before. You can't play Dark Room anymore because your opponent is gonna... Everyone's playing for Orcus. So, now that your opponent thinks you're playing Orcus, like your opponent is, is prepared for Orcus. Their main deck is for Orcus. And what do they do to stop Orcus? Stop the graveyard. So anything revolving your graveyard, get rid of that, alright? Their crow can only be using your Kagari to add my Cornet. And at that point, who gives a shit? Anyways, so <laughs> for this hand, I was telling him, oh, wait a second, I'm going to do something else instead. Uh, we're going to pop that, and we're going to get the Magister. What we're going to do is we're going to get free counters on Magister to be able to resolve the Magister. And I just see the Engage over there. So we're going to go into Appaloosa to be able to resolve the Engage. You could have done a few plays here to make a Appaloosa for two and get the draw from Engage again, but there's no need for a second draw from Engage. Uh, we're going to get Widow instead of the Kagari and Hornet, if that makes sense for you guys. Now we're just going to punch something. It just offers a lot. If you open the Engage, like when you open the Engage or the Spellbook card, it offers so much on deck, it's insane. And if you don't open them, you just go to Yuja to get them. Or Crowley to get the Spellbook. It's actually really, really powerful. Now... <laughs> We're just going to do a lot. Abduct is going to add Jackal. And you, as you see, the uh, just a board of Pendulum the gates. And this is very easy. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put a uh, Nightmare Phoenix with Appaloosa. is like broken. It means Appaloosa is going to be able to get three negates all the time. Because they cannot crash into the Appaloosa. Because Phoenix protects it from destroying my battle. And we're going to go into an IP as well. To uh, give us a play if we want. Uh, and he's going to Phantasmate. So what we're going to do here is we're going to ne negate with a Jackal. Magister had four counters. So we're going to negate with a Jackal. It had three, but I had four. We activate the lore just to get counters of Magister, summon it back out again, <coughs> and summon this out, and boom, there we go. We're gonna have a Mighty Master, a Magister effect, a Jackal effect, Apples are for four, and a Magister for everything if we really need to. Or sorry, an IP for everything. He's getting to the void. We're gonna let everything go by little by little. And the reason why I'm saying this deck it, it sucks the soul out of your opponent is <coughs> it, it seems like you have no follow because you have no hand, but Mad Mighty Master is gonna bring back it to his hand. If you had the second Mighty Master, that'll bring itself back to the hand. If you destroy Magister by bot by a, any way, it goes to the, the, there. A doctor, it looks like you have no follow up, but you're gonna have a Mighty Master in hand. Uh, your scales are gonna be there. A doctor's gonna get yourself a card to the hand. You're gonna have two cards. You're gonna pendulum someone whatever you want. Like it's crazy that it always has a follow up. It looks like you have no follow up, but even if you end your turn with zero cards in hand and not even full scales, you still have the follow up. So we won that one. And this one, we uh, look at this hand. All right. I don't let him do his turn. He's playing Striker or case He opens Broken. Engage for draw three. So he's going to use Engage three times on his turn to draw for each one. We don't care. The way the deck's built, right, is just amazing Spellbook, uh, Striker, Pendulum, and Demian cards. And then, uh, you know, it's, like you only need 35 cards, to be honest. And then you just throw in five to six auto wins. And it's honestly uh, unbreakable. Like, your opponent can't do anything about it. Uh, the deck's just broken. So you're going to see how all the Spellbook and Striker cards come in handy going second. So after siding here, so his grave is full. He has set four. He has uh, a full graveyard. He's scared of system down. So Avery's a really good player. He's playing around system down. Like a lot of you would have got even more clapped by this. But he's saying, yo, I'm about to get destroyed by system down. I want the follow-up. At least Harp will be under the, the, the Gearsu. He'll have something just in case. 
So what he's gonna do now is he's playing around it, playing around system down, feeling very very safe because he's gonna IP everything away for four of them. And he's gonna have three spell uh, three striker cards down here, and he's gonna he feels safe. But truth be told, he's not safe. <coughs> So we're gonna draw. Here's where the spell book cards come in. You need. You're not clearing a board like this with two cards in hand or with five cards in hand, right? You know you're gonna evenly match for everything. We're trying to get him to crescendo this. So if he doesn't crescendo the blue boy, in my eyes he has no crescendo. So we're gonna go knowledge. We're gonna draw away. So he has no crescendo. Now that we know he has no crescendo, and still now you draw into the, the, the Endymion cards. These cards are not that good to draw into now. So the hand's not that good. It really is not. But what we're going to do now is now into battle phase, we kind of baited the crescendo by using cards like these. And there's nothing else he's getting a crescendo, uh, unless it's good cards. Engage, spell book, right? You need cards like this. They're just broken. And I think every pure demon deck needs to play it right now. So we're going to evenly away his entire field. He's going to go into zero Boros. And he forgot, he told me he forgot to go, uh, he meant to go Nightmare into Gizmek. Uh, so he's supposed to have a Gizmek and a zero Boros. But the, he doesn't know I have a Widow Anchor, so he, he was uh, kind of working so he couldn't concentrate. But we're imagining there's a Gizmek there. And if we did use the Zero Boros, so he would go Gizmek. Uh, and then I would just chain the Widow to take the Zero Boros. So it wouldn't even resolve. So it would have been in a similar situation. We're talking about it later. Uh, but he was at work, so he didn't really like realize that he didn't have it. So it wouldn't have worked out anyways. He had no idea I had the Widow. So if he, whether he didn't use the, if he used the Gizmek right away, I would steal the top logic. If he used Gizmek on activation of Servant, I'll steal it. So it'll be the exact same result. But there's supposed to be a Gizmek in there. Uh, now we're going to go into Electrum. And I think he realized a little later uh, at that point. He's like, yo, I'm just going to throw the, the Gizmek in here. It would have been the exact same result. Uh, except you'd even save 8 cards from this thing. Because I would be destroying those with my Mighty Master. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys what to do. Uh, it looks like all hope was lost. He only Pendulum summoned 3 monsters, right? He only Pendulum summoned 3 monsters. But you know you're facing Striker... Orcus. So what I'm going to do here is go into Apples for 4. I'm going to neg a little bit. I don't need a follow-up. Uh, I know Apples for 4 is just going to destroy him. So Apples for 4 plus Jackal would be the game. I could have also saw you shift the special out to Jackal. Uh, to have double Jackal, Mighty Master. But I know Apples for 4 and Jackal and a Mighty Master in case he got lucky and drew a spell card. This is just game for sure. So I'm going to negate every single thing he has. <coughs> and it's going to end up with him passing his turn. I negate everything. He destroys Appaloosa with the Gruffer. He had to drop that. And he has a great good follow-up going. He banished most of his cards because he had the Gizmek. And he's only left with 11 cards in his deck. So most of his Orcus cards are gone. I top deck into Engage, which honestly wasn't even that good. I know we're drawing, but uh, we have to get rid of the Jackal and the Mighty Master to do it. Uh, but it just broke it. Now look, we get Hornet. Now look, Engage gets Hornet to get back to Engage. And then you Master for Servant. Like, it's ridiculous how good Engage is. This card needs to be played in every Pendulum deck. I can't stress this enough. You don't need the Orcus cards. You need Engage. So Engage here got us a draw. It's going to get us another draw because Hornet going to get back. Engage isn't just draw one. Engage kind of equals two engages because of Kagari and two draws. And you get the Widow and the Hornet. And against this deck, we also play for Shark Cannon. We side Shark Cannon. So here we're going to get Servant. And Hornet and Engage resolve Servant by itself. They each give it three counters by itself. So Hornet, get back Engage. We're going to link these two into the Link 310 just to clear space. Engage. We didn't draw high scale evenly. That's totally fine. We're going to steal his Dengirsu. We could have also steal his Phantasme and gone Servant to Special Mighty Master and then gone Vortex. So that probably would have been the better play, but I'm like, yo, I'm feeling lucky. We're going to Saryuja and we're going to draw it to scales. That's what I was thinking. So Dengirsu can't attack for game because of the Shark Cannon effect. But in retrospect, the better play would have been take the Phantasme, summon a Mighty Master. I don't care about a spell. I want to Omni Negate when it's like this. Okay, I know his Orcus card's dead. There's really not much stuff he can do. One Vortex would have been game. But get the Mighty Master, link the two into Absolute, and link all three, and then Vortex attack. That would have been the best play most likely. Or if I summon up Reflection, Reflection to bounce, get myself a follow-up from Servant, and then go Vortex. But we're going to do what it says is of all four. Um, it's all good. See what happens from the Sayusha. So from the Sayusha, we draw System Down. We put back two evenly and, a, and a Into the Void. And System Down just going to banish literally in his entire follow-up. And that's just what the deck does. The deck just draws, 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 draws into the auto wins. And Engage isn't just a draw card. Engage is just an auto win card. So you're going to have Tiger 28. He has no follow-ups. Orcus cards are gone. We draw scales and just win the game. The deck's insane. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck profile to show why the deck is actually the greatest deck on the planet and sucks the soul out of your opponent. Let's go. So, this is the deck profile. Three Servant, two Abductor, one Reflection. I did want to play more Reflection or more Abductor. You need more cards as starters. Magister's not a starter. It's an amazing card. You search it by Electra, Mastery, Institution, whatever you want. 
but it sucks to draw unless you draw Cerberus with it. So, it's not a starter. You only need one of it. Reflection, also not the best starter. Abductor's the plus one here. So, Abductor is the better starter than Reflection and Magister by landslide, and I would love to play three. But, it does conflict when Cerberus gets Ash or when you draw into the Cerberus. So, I think two and two is good of each of them. I would like to play three Abductor. There's no space. You want to cut the deck the most consistent as possible, and you want to play more spells as possible. I mean, you're playing a Lord's here. You want to play as many spells as possible. Two Mighty Master, all you need. A lot of you play three, but Mighty Master does brick. Going second is great, but two is honestly all you need. It's so searchable by half your deck, and two is all you need. Three Chrono, one Gazer is just the best turbo card. You don't need Curtain Razor. Most of the cards in here are plus ones. Servant's a plus one. Abductor's a plus one. Reflection puts itself on field. Plus one bounces a card. Master plus one. Mighty Master destroys everything. Chrono specializes itself when your Mythical Beast Engine destroys itself, which is big. Two Servers, two Jackal, one Bashilis. We don't main Garuda. We do side it. I don't like it going first. We do play Into the Void. So Garuda going first is not a hand trap. It's just there for popping back row. And uh, it's also there when he's decided in against any Orcus deck to make Dweller. A lot of times when you know you're facing Orcus, Abductor searches Abductor, just make uh, Electron Pop, make Dweller. Something like that. It's very easy to search the Abductor and the Bashilis in your deck. The way the deck's built is basically like a 20 card deck. The way it just searches and draws each other. So... Just because you play two O's or three O's, you can search anything you want at any given time, so it's all good. Uh, one thing to note, I play two spell book, uh, blue boy, two knowledge, two seekers, one knowledge. A lot of you guys play one blue boy. I think that's uh, uh, that's very stupid. So, uh, why would you play four brilliant fusion, uh, three brilliant fusion and one garnet when you have the opportunity to play four brilliant fusion and one garnet? Or five brilliant fusion and one garnet? Even better, actually, is I love seeing multiples. Because when I see multiples, it's hand trap bait. I know what blue boy is getting impermed. Then secrets of the knowledge you win. You go blue, you have doubles, fantastic. You keep the blue boy on field, and you actually do stuff with the blue boy. Every monster on field, now with IP, Appaloosa, Saryuja, there's so much need for monsters on field. Sometimes I hate using knowledge on the blue boy, because I lost a monster on field. Drawing two is amazing. I will never play less than that. A lot of the times, actually, normal blue boy and Saryusha and keep the knowledge in hand and hope to draw a second spellbook card and just use knowledge from hand because you're losing out a lot from not getting that free monster on field. Next, so spellbook card engine, one of the best in this game. You got to play it. It literally says potty greed. You know, most someone's irrelevant. And also, because of Crowley, one of the most broken extra deck cards right now that no one uses, is you could Pendulum Summon two monsters, but because of Crowley, still end on four negates. So, I'm going to show you guys how to play out of bad hands with this, but the deck is made for like, pro players here. You could Pendulum Summon, I'm Pendulum Summon an Abductor and a Jackal, but it, with Magister and Servant in scale, and it will still end up with four negates, because Crowley will get counters, you'll still just go into Crowley, not even Electrum, you'll still go into Crowley, get counters on both Servant and the Magister, summon them both back, go Appaloosa, and still have a big-ass board. So, it, it's absolutely mandatory to play the Blue Boy and the Spellbook cards. Engage is another broken engine. Engage Hornet gives you two monsters, a draw, and an engage. Because uh, of IP, Widow's always live. I even want to play Shark Cannon. Shark Cannon's only there for the Orcus matchup. Shark Cannon by itself puts a serious work against Orcus and it, it auto wins, especially because they're negating Servant or Abductor and Scale before they resolve. So now when you when you just you don't even go when you're going second, I don't even engage into Hornet. I engage into Widow right away. Uh, that way, when they attempt to negate your, stop your servant, they can't. Because now they summon up the Tegirsu, you just use your Widow. One sec, Sprite Break. Oh yeah, Trip Fatness, baby. They can't do anything. You negate them trying to negate your own servant. When they go, oh wow, you have scales, I'm gonna go zero Boros. No problem, you Widow it and steal it. The deck's broken, like, they strike your cards correlate so well with all your pendulum cards because the cards they're negating are in your scale and if they don't negate the cards in the scale you ought to win the, another card if they might server servers goes to the extra monster zone so that you can still activate your striker cards like they have to do, negate these cards or else they lose so mandatory absolutely mandatory next seven draw cards upstart three into the void three allure upstart and into the void is not debatable allure I used to only like a lore when I play Curtain Razor, but I cut Curtain Razor. Uh, it doesn't conflict with Engage. You can always Curtain Razor first and Engage after you go into Electrum. But you don't need to make Electrum too much in here. Because the extra deck's filled with such broken extra deck cards like Kagari, Electrum, Crowley, IP, Saryuja, Appaloosa, like 
It doesn't matter. You can go Electrum later in the combo. Sometimes, not even Electrum. I say it as a follow-up sometimes because the hands are that broken. So, you don't always need to make the Electrum. So you don't need a Curtain Razor. As for Allure, though, look at how many cards search Dark cards, right? So, you have two of Dark that searches a Dark card. Mighty Master, that's four. Four Chronograph cards, that's eight. Cerberus searches Jackal, that's ten. Two Jackal, that's twelve. You have three Mastery and two Institution, that's seventeen. So 17 cards that search a dark card, but you're not playing a 40 card deck. You're playing a 3, 6, 7, 10, 15. You're playing a 25 card deck and 20 of them. Like if it's not a dark card, it's a it's a search card or a draw card, which draws into the draw, dark card. So before Burning Abyss used to play like 10 dark cards and still play, play Allure with no other actual search or draw cards. This is a 25 card deck with 17 uh, ways to go into a dark card. So... Allure is still amazing in this deck. Uh, next, the side deck. So, as you notice, auto win side cards. Pendulum allows you to put auto win side cards. So, after siding, you take out some stuff that aren't super necessary. Sometimes, depending on the match, I'll take out the Spellbook engine or the Striker engine. They're amazing. These, I hate taking them out. So, I'll take out the Mythical Beast engine. But I'll take out the engine as a whole. I will take out the third mastery because uh, you don't want to draw multiples. Sometimes I'll take out three Allure. But I will take out engines in itself because you're signing in six cards. And you want to open mostly two of them and you just auto win. You play Short Cannon versus Orcus. Afterburner versus whatever going second. Garuda for backward decks. Alright. Next. Electra. Uh, sorry. Kagari Kaina. You have to play a card going downwards. Kaina, Hayate, whatever. Uh, Hayate's effect will never come up for you. Kaina is just there. It doesn't matter which one you put up. Uh, I'll give you 100 more life points, whatever. You put it there, and you make Electrum. So you go Kagari, engage, Kagari, engage, Hornet, make Kagari, Kagari, add back, engage, go Kaina, or Hayate, and then you make a Servant Resolve, uh, make Electrum underneath. So you need something that goes underwards. Uh, one Electrum, broken. One Crowley, as I said, broken. IP, broken in this deck, also makes uh, I, uh, Widow live. Uh, the Tiny Link is just the most generic Link 3. It comes up because you're playing Psychic cards. And it just f clears up space for your Psychic cards. And you can do it with any monster you want. And dead Blue Boys. So Blue Boys are amazing. Trust me. Like, uh, you need cards to Link with. So Yusha, you make almost every turn. This card's broken. Appalooza, you make one of these two every turn. And sometimes with IP, I'll make the other one. So you can start Yusha on their turn as well. And it's pretty broken. Like, you're always going to get yourself a follow-up. I had mentioned, you're going to have turns where it's like, you both your mighty master and field. You're gonna negate both of them up. You use up most of your Appaloosa negates. They're gonna go enter battle phase, clear your IP. They're gonna think, oh, what should I? What can I do? What can I do? You have a widow set, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna IP everything into Sayuja. Get yourself the perfect follow up for next turn. You're gonna have five cards in hand for next turn, and then you're gonna have a white widow with them having two cards in hand. Like they're not winning, and then your turn you just kill them. So IP is broken. It really is. Can I even use Sayuja on my turn? Does it see? Pretty sure just one one card links someone. Yeah, you can. Like it's broken. Uh, one Phoenix, one Unicorn, one Borosaur, one Boral Load, one Dweller. I brought up that you only play three level fours in the deck, but because Abductor searches Abductor, you like give like so many ways to Abductor Electrum, Bashilis by Bashilis, Cerberus. You have so many ways to open one level four or draw level four. Servant could go into Abductor. There's so many ways to get level fours institution that you don't need to play them just to make Dweller. You could when you know you're facing Orcus, you just prioritize Dweller. So you get them by searching the Bashilas, by searching the Abductor, by sending the Abductor, and it's very easy. A one out suit one vortex. It comes up sometimes, not a lot. You could take these two out if you really want to. That's the deck, guys. The deck is honestly broken. You can try it for yourselves. Sorry for the misleading title, but sorry, not sorry. Deck's broken. See you guys. Hit the subscribe button, by the way, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.